Hello, this is Sanjay Jain, and I'm here to talk about a new issue that's come up uh, in a conversation, uh, blood clots in the lungs. So why has it been a conversation of late? Well, Chris Bosch, the athlete from the Miami Heat, recently was diagnosed with clots in his lungs. Uh, and he is not the only athlete who's been diagnosed with uh, blood clots. Serena Williams was diagnosed with blood clots a few years ago, and so she was out for a while with this condition. So how does this actually happen? Well, let's focus on Chris Bosch. He recently traveled to Haiti and probably had a long flight. And people who are generally healthy can get something called a DVT in the legs. And what this is is a clot that originates in the lower legs. And these clots called emboli can go from the legs and can actually travel through the inferior vena cava and into the blood circulation within the lungs. So as you can see the circulating vessels in the lungs and actually a example here of a blood clot that's stuck in one of the blood vessels in the lung and this is very life-threatening. So how is this diagnosed? Well most likely it was diagnosed by a few ways but CT scan is very common and here is an example of a CT scan where you have a picture of a portion of the heart, the black area is a lung, and here you see a vessel in the heart that's going into the lungs and you can see a filling defect. And this is a, an example of a blood clot within a vessel going into the lung. This is another great example of a clot that's actually more severe. It's got clots going into the right lung here and the left lung here. This huge clot here in the main pulmonary artery and this is the aorta. And here is another example and a different projection of a big image of the heart. The black area is the lung. You can see in the vessel going into the lung a little bit of a filling defect or a clot that's going into the lung. So this is life-threatening. So what are common causes? Well, most commonly, especially with healthy people, if you've been prolonged sitting or inactivity, this is a very common cause. But people who have other medical conditions can have uh, clot issues, heart conditions, people have cancer if you're on certain medications, smokers, uh, obesity, and even pregnancy. So focusing a little bit more on the most common cause, prolonged sitting and inactivity. This is common in a plane because these are long flights and there are certain tips you want to do to prevent this from happening. So this is an infographic provided from the LA Times which actually gives a few examples of some ways to prevent clots in a air, long prolonged air flight. This is a picture of a gentleman doing some knee lifts. You can do some foot stretches, some toe circles, and even some chest pulls. What's not shown in this picture is the fact that you can just simply walk up and down through the cabin and get those get the circulation moving. So there's some important tips to remember, especially on a prolonged flight or prolonged travel that you want to move around. Even if you're driving in a car, sitting in a car, take your brakes and move around and, and get that circulation going. Thank you again and if you want some more information, uh, visit my website sanjayjnmd.com. Love to have you visit, have some other tips and uh, I also wrote a book, Optimal Living 360, a New York Times bestseller. Thank you very much.